In this problem, I have a five kilogram aluminum block suspended from a string and is dunked into this container of water. And I'm trying to find the tangent in the string, which you could also say is the apparent weight of the block. And the reason that tangent is not just equal to the weight of the block is that there's a buoyant force pointing up as soon as you immerse the block. And that's gonna help out the tension force a little bit to hold up the block against gravity. And let's go ahead and get the weight vector in there as well. Okay, so most of the work in the problem is just computing the buoyant force. And the buoyant force is given by Archimedes' principle. It's equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. So by immersing this block in the water, I've pushed a volume of water out of the way equal to the volume of the block. When I multiply that volume by the density of water, that gives me the mass of the water that's been pushed out of the way. When I multiply that by g, I get the weight of the water that's been pushed out of the way. So it looks like I have a missing piece of information. I've got to find the volume of the block. We do have the mass and the density. If I convert the density real quick into the proper units, it's just a factor of 1,000, so it's 2,700 kilograms per cubic meter. I use the definition of density, mass per unit volume, turn it around, and I get that the volume of the block is the mass over the density. That's five kilograms over 2,700 kilograms per cubic meter. And that comes out to 0 0.00185 cubic meters. So now I can get the buoyant force. It's the volume of the block, density of water, and G, and I get 18.15 newtons for that. And then I wrap things up by getting into the force analysis. This block is in equilibrium, which means the sum of the upward forces must equal the sum of the downward forces. So my tension, I can see from this equation, is a bit less than mg. Plug in my numbers. m is 5 kilograms, g is 9.8. The buoyant force took a little bit of work, but that's 18.15 newtons. And when I'm all done, I get 30.9 newtons for the tension in the string. Again, we can refer to that as the apparent weight because that's the force it takes to hold up the block. If you find the physics content on Zach's Lab helpful, click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.